All right. So, hello everyone. Hello men. Hello the few women who may tune in. Hello everyone. This is Chris with The Age of Reason. It is what we know about the Austin. Well, it was only a matter of time before they, they had to go there, right? One way or another. The irony, of course, is that in this case, it was the very BLM white ally supporter who hates everything white and hates everything that could possibly ever be called racist just because <laughs> because it impacts pe racism impacts everyone it's not even a thing uh, i'm going to tell you all this again if someone calls you a nasty pejorative that has been connected with the color of your skin and you take issue with it then you're a fucking pussy that's it. I don't care if I'm called honky, cracker, cracka, pale face, ghost face. I don't, I don't care what I'm called. It does not trigger me. But anyway, they, you know, they, they have this, this agent, this actor, I'm going to say, but we'll pretend that it was a real guy. They have this guy who claimed that he's a so-called white ally, which means that, of course, he's going to be what they would call very anti-white. All right, um, whatever, whatever, I, I don't care. You guys take with that what you want. But, um, you know, the irony is that he's running around with an AK-47 now. Okay, does this make a whole lot of sense? No, not really, right? So, <laughs> Let's let's keep going. Austin police announced on Sunday night that the driver said that he fired on Foster after he pointed his rifle at his car while some witnesses had said Foster did not. The driver and another shooter who fired on the car as it drove away were questioned and released by police. But the law enforcement investigation is ongoing. Below is everything we know so far. And of course they have these conflicting eyewitnesses, these conflicting accounts, because it's a story and, and you, they can't really prove it. I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna prove it through their, their media facade through their engine, through their manipulation, but uh, enough conflicting reports off the jump, you know, how could you, how could you make a, a good decision, a good judgment with conflicting reports? If you have a conflagration, well, you just better say, I have no idea, not guilty, <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, anyhow, I don't know if I'm going to read all this, by the way. I'm just going over some, I initially wanted to do this just to go over some of the fucking codes that jump up. The double T in Garrett is the first code. That's the double cross. Uh, the second code could be that his last name, Foster, just happens to have an O. According to Austin Police and eyewitnesses, shortly before 10 p.m., Local time, Black Lives Matter protesters were marching through the intersection of 4th Street. So 10 p.m. and number 4 with 4th Street might be some kind of numeric codes in this. I don't know. Uh, I'm not seeing any 6s uh, or 9s or anything yet. But I have glanced over this up front, and they're in there. So we're going to get to them. So it's just... Keep on going here, because uh, you know, I'm not going to read the whole thing. It doesn't interest me. I mean, it's all bullshit. Uh, protesters still in it and abruptly stopped in a live stream video shot by independent journalists. Oh, oh, look at this. Now, I did not catch this the first time that I glanced over it, so it's a good thing that you guys are going over it with me, and I'm glad that you called this to my attention. I'm glad that you pay so much attention to these codes. All right? Thank you. Thank you. In a live-streamed video shot by independent journalist. Independent journalist. Hiram G. 
Gilberto Garcia. Hiram Gilberto Garcia. Gilberto. Do you hear the O code, okay? No way. Bullshit. Bullshit. Hiram Gilberto Garcia, an independent journalist, so-called, just happened to be live streaming the whole time. All right, all right, it's already fucking blown out of the water now. I never caught this the first time that I just glanced over it, okay? That's all I did. I was going to do a quick show. I glanced over it. We have the O code right here. Wow, thanks, guys, for noticing that and telling me. This one's for you guys. Thank you. I really appreciate that you guys are catching these codes now. It's really fucking cool. Um, Hiram Gilberto Garcia. Let's say it again. I know we've said it ten times already, class, but we have to get these in our heads. Our code for this portion is Hiram Gilberto Garcia. And, of course, why wouldn't his name just be Hiram Garcia if he's just a regular guy why not just Hiram Garcia? No, he had to make sure that the that he has his O code on display. All right. Again, I've I've brought this up. I don't know why they use these codes. It's as if it's in their playbook that they have to. I don't fucking get it. All right. But here it is. Why can't he just be Hiram Garcia? Why is he Hiram Gilberto Garcia? Well, for me, case closed. You know, hit the gavel. Because uh, the, the, we have the double cross up front, uh, we have the O code in Foster, and we have the O code in Gilberto, a so-called independent journalist. <laughs> Some of the protesters can be seen converging on the vehicle, at which point a man can be heard shooting, shouting, Everybody back up! Of course, right? So let's keep going, guys. Oh, and look at this. Wow, you guys got a good eye. You guys got some great eyes out there now for these codes. Look at this one, guys. So this is a screenshot that they've appended to this. What's what's the name there, class? What's the name? Oh, Jimmy, yes, that's right. Anthony Martino. Good job. Hey, you're so smart there, buddy. Well, you got a good head on your shoulders and a good brain in that head, too. You're going to be all right. You caught that. That's big. That's, that's very big. Clip of the shooting of the protest in Austin, Texas from Hiram Gilberto on FB. Anthony Martino, Hiram Gilberto. Oh, my goodness. How fucking stupid do you have to be? Let's look at the date and the time. 11.08 p.m. July 25th, 2020. July 25th class. What is that? 7-7, seven, seven, right? 7-7-2-2. Seven, seven, two, two. <laughs> so, 7 and 7 are encoded. And 2 and 2. What's the uh, the duality there? Or the, the additional whatever... Of the numerology part of it, I don't know. But there is certainly no coincidence that this went down on a date where it were two same numbers, like seven and seven, and then two. And, and as I have previously said, I am not a numbers guy. But I do watch them. I do take notice of them. Uh, I am also not one who knows why all these codes exist and everything. But you can you can see them. Five gunshots can be heard, prompting the protesters to scream and run for cover, blah, blah, blah. Soon after, three additional gunshots can be heard and sound like they came from a different weapon than the first round of gunfire. In another video, the car can be seen driving away after the shooting. Oh, look, look, look. Chad Loader is here to update us about it. Oh, wow, what the fuck? How are these cocksuckers so goddamn powerful? How, like, who is this guy? You know this piece of shit has more money than most people that you know? <laughs> you know, who the fuck are you, Chad Loader? Chad Loader, you fucking choder? <laughs> oh, give me a fucking break. 
Uh, another angle of the shooting confirms exactly what witnesses described. And, you know, again, they always have the, these uh, different entities who will tell you it's confirmed on this side. No, 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 no. It's confirmed on this side. Chad Loader, what makes you an expert at anything? How, how, how could you possibly confirm uh, through other people's um, thoughts, words, ideas, testimonies, etc. How could you be one to say that something is confirmed? Who are you, you old code piece of shit? Fuck you, Chad Loader. Fuck you. And as you can see, there's no reason to pay attention to these stories. There's no reason to read this shit or anything. All we have to do is go over some of the fucking the, the, the key words and things in it. And you will quickly be able to identify that it's another fucking media story. It cannot ever be confirmed to be real or not. You might as well just say it's a fucking lie. It's all bullshit. The marchers did not surround the car. The driver drove into the crowd. Well, I don't give a fuck, so I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> you know, I, I don't give a shit. When it was over, Garrett Foster, a 28-year-old white man, and 28 is going to be some kind of fucking code, too. Uh, maybe that's like 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, look at that. 8-8, eight, eight. H H Heil Hitler, uh-huh, Heather Heyer, 8-8, eight, eight. a white guy, 8-8, eight, eight, two eights, is that the code there? Hmm, I don't know, I'm not exactly a numbers guy, but uh, I'm telling you, there's a fucking code there. 28-year-old white man marching in the protest with his disabled fiance was laying on the ground with multiple gunshot wounds and a pool of blood. Foster was carrying an AK-47 rifle while he marched, as fellow protesters say he often did. Like, he was just known amongst all these people. Like, number one, these things, like, these protests are supposed to be you know, randomized, as in, like, anyone can join into them. So how are you really going to have fellow protesters? Like, you know, you're, was he involved with a protest circuit? Was he involved with a group that would go around protesting? How would he be so well-known uh, amongst protesters? We all knew old Garrett Foster, crazy white son of a bitch. He always took his AK-47. Oh, wait, they wouldn't talk like that. Crazy son of a bitch. He always took his AK-47. Oh, Garrett Foster. <laughs> oh, we're going to miss him. He often did as a regular participant, along with his fiance, during the ongoing protests against police brutality in the city. Texas is an open carry state. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. According to state law, open carry is legal as long as it's not done in a manner calculated to alarm. Okay. Uh, Wherever you live, it's legal to carry a G-U-N. The G-U-N is a tool. You can carry a hammer. You can carry a freaking sickle. <laughs> hammer and sickle. Those are tools. Those are weapons of communism. You can carry those. Uh, you can carry your lawnmower, your chainsaw, whatever you want. It's a tool. You know, you carry your bare hands on you. You, know, you, you choke somebody's fucking neck with your bare hands. <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> you're put here in this reality to hopefully take full advantage of the benefits of being alive. You know, of, of enjoying life to your highest fulfillment. This artificial state system really can't force you to do anything. You know, like really it's all about consent like okay, I guess I'll I guess I'll go inside now. I guess I'll put on my mask now. I guess I'll whatever, you know, like yes, that's fine. I'll do it because you're so beaten down. You know, you're so overworked, you're so overtired, 
that you can't fucking you can't pay any attention to to the great things that are supposed to come with life so you just kind of bow down and buckle over you know and take it because you just want it to be over with well when that happens that's when you really start to lose things though and uh the only way that you're going to retain things is by fighting for them and fights get ugly and um you know no few people want to fight any by any means like that means fist fights or legal fights or arguments with your fucking relatives or anything few people actually enjoy fighting um but if you don't then you're just gonna wind up you know either losing everything or losing some things or you'll um find a way to uh well, all you're really going to wind up doing is circumventing your own happiness. And uh, your happiness should be important. But let's just keep going. Medics performed CPR on Foster at the scene, but he was pronounced dead after being blah, 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 to Del Selton Medical Center. Okay. Well, Del Selton Medical Center. <sighs> Police were already on the scene and responded to the shooting in less than a minute. A police official later said that they had taken the driver into custody. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Witnesses, blah, blah, blah. Police, blah, blah, blah. Motorists, blah, 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 blah. Uh, a lot of bullshit here. It's just not, you know, advertisement. Okay, it's blocked. Witnesses have told reporters that Foster kept his rifle pointed at the ground, blah, 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 driver pointed a handgun through the window. This is where they got to build up the gay-ass story, you know, because if you're a juror in a courtroom, you're going to hear a story, and you're going to have to make a decision. And so they want you to make a decision now. You are the jury of your own life. Instead of just being an active participant in your life, you're actually sitting on the sidelines watching your life go by. And you will just sit and make a decision on what you think is moral and what you think should be righteous and what, you know, what should happen, what you should do. Well, I, you might say, I would never want to walk down the street with a gun and ever hurt anyone. So I'm going to have to say that this man who was walking down the street with a gun, he didn't deserve to get shot from a guy in a car. I mean, yeah, he probably shouldn't have had the gun because I don't like guns. And he probably didn't either. But blah, 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 blah. You know, like you're just, you're just a spectator of your own life, you know, <laughs> of life, not even your own life. You're just watching this bullshit, absorbing it and allowing it to become you. You're allowing it to amalgamate into you, to become what you think, what you are, you know. What are you? You are I. I am. As God said, I am. You exist. You're here. You must make a decision. Uh, what is righteous for you? Okay? Now, what is righteous for the fucking deer or the fucking, uh, you know, the cow is the goddamn farm that got to get hit with a freaking bolt action uh, stun gun to the brain? So we can eat them because they're delicious and they, they nourish our lives. You don't have to do that job. So you don't have to worry about that, okay? Fortunately for you, we live in this modern system of society where there are other men and women who will do that job for you to provide you the beef that you consume um, or the beef that you choose not to consume. <laughs> but uh, you know, here's the thing, like, you have to make your own choices in this world, and you better start. You better start trying to figure this shit out. You better start trying to figure something out. Because the longer you sit on the sidelines, hey, I'm, I'm going to be 42 in December. Your 40s are coming if they're not here already. Uh, you know, and, and what's coming up next? 
50, hopefully 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, hopefully, but we don't really know. So we've all got to start making some important decisions. What do we want out of life? We Do, do we want to just watch this crap over and over and over again and let it become us as we as we harden our insides with just garbage or do we want to to live as our parents wanted us to live when we were tiny babies when they were so proud to hold us and hug us and kiss us because all of our parents were no matter what happened to you when you're when when you came of age and you had your fallouts with your folks and everything else, let me all remind let me remind you all that mom and dad were absolutely fucking crazy about you when you were born. All right, because that's just the nature of being a mom or a dad. And uh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna let them down? Or are you gonna be something more? Well, I'm not saying you gotta do this for your folks. Do it for you. You gotta do it for you. You got to make your decisions. Ah, blah, 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 blah. I'm all over the place today, right? Um, let me pull back here. Oh, here's another O code. Another O code. Witness Michael Capacian. And I'm back. I had to go ahead and delete some crap off of the mobile device because I ran out of storage. Just as I caught this extra O code for this ridiculous piece of shit story, witness Michael Capacchiano, 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 hey, I'm Michael Capacchiano, I'm going to talk to the New York Times about this foster case, you see, I'm going to tell them everything they need to know, I'm going to spill the beans all over, they ain't never going to come back from this one, alright, I don't know why I went off like that, but you know, <laughs> Michael Capacchiano, okay, another fucking O code, how many fucking people with O oh, sounds do you know in their names? Okay, how many? All right, like a O person in your whole life. Wow. Whew. Foster was not aiming the gun or doing anything aggressive with the gun. I'm Michael Capacchiano, and I'm here to testify that Garrett Foster was not aiming the gun or doing anything aggressive with the gun. You see, I was there. I was a witness. That's my word, my sworn word and testimony. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Get fucking real. Uh, I'm not even going to read all this, this bullshit crap, blah, 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 blah. He was, he was just walking over there. You know what, we're going to read it because we got to keep with that voice. He was not holding it in an aggressive manner. I'm not sure if there was an exchange of words. It wasn't like there was any sort of verbal altercation. He wasn't charging at the car. He was just walking over there. Okay, so there you have it from Michael, Michael Capiano. You can spell my name the right way. You better capitalize the O, because Capiano is the man on the scene, you hear? <laughs> All right, fuck it. Fuck you, Capiano. <laughs> Capacchiano. Said that he did not see the driver, blah, blah, blah. What did you see? Uh, again, it's all speculation because it's just a story, and they want you to sit on the sidelines with your life and ignore what's important. And they just want you to make these trivial, trite decisions in your head to shape how you observe reality, how you observe, 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 how you observe their laws because you will be forced, you will be expected rather, you will be expected to observe their rules because all you're going to do is sit down and observe this bullshit, okay? Victim's mother, Sheila Foster, blah, 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 blah. She was on TV, okay? So mom has her son blown to pieces in the street and the first thing she wants to do is jump on TV, <laughs> wow how do they pull this shit you know like she's on good mo <laughs> wrong voice she's on good morning america okay first thing that i want to do after a funeral is jump on tv what about you <laughs> oh she had heard that foster 
had been pushing his fiance Whitney Mitchell. Okay, this is good. Who is black and a quadruple amputee. Oh my god. So this guy who hated guns but loved AK-47s just had the biggest swollen heart full of love in the world. He was going to marry not not just a woman of a different skin tone, a completely disabled, handicapped woman of a different skin color. POC. He was going to marry this POC who had no arms and no legs. Well, let's just get a round of applause here for this man. And just, uh, wow, what, what a powerful heart that he had. What a true tragedy. You believe this shit? Get the fuck out of here. Okay, and so he's going to go to like these, these fucking psycho events and push his disabled fiance through these events while at these events people have been known to burn shit down and throw fucking pop bottles and uh glass bottles and tip over cars and everything else he's just gonna push her around in a wheelchair <laughs> how do they come up with it guys fuck you She's not dead. He's not dead. Nobody fucking died, dude. This gentleman got out of his car and started firing shots. And my son was shot three... Three, three times. So there's your number three. It came around. Oh, so far, no video footage. Blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, here's another code. Brian Manley. Okay. Let me point that out for you. Right there. Manley. Brian Manley. This is 100% hoax code now. If all those O codes weren't enough, now we have the man code. Brian Manley. Okay. Who is Brian Manley? Chief of Police. Okay. So, yeah, he's, he's you know, he's a, a leading acting official. And he's certainly going to fucking be on TV. And, uh, yeah, fucking, what are the odds that they promoted the man code to the, the chief of police in Austin? All right? All right? Come on. <laughs> wow. Manly said that blah, 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 blah. Chief Manly said that the driver in second blah, 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 blah. Foster, blah, 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 Steve Adler, Austin Mayor Steve Adler, Adler is, mm -hmm. uh, Adler is what, uh, German for Eagle, uh, not that it really matters, uh, wow, uh, where, Mayor Adler, wear a mask, in a split moment, three guns were drawn, eight shots were fired, and A, one, three, eight, one, Tragically killed. Blah, 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 blah. 381. 318. Is that a number for any fucking shit out there? You tell me. Wow. Uh, stand your ground. Now they gotta create all the controversy. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm just gonna keep swiping through this shit now. I feel like I spent way too much time on this. Um, it's all bull crap. It's all bullshit. It's all lies. The victim, Whitney Mitchell, yes, yeah, she loved him a lot, blah, blah, blah. I haven't slept. Uh, God. Julian Salazar. Who the fuck is Julian Salazar? Oh, boy. I, it, the, the, wow. All crap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is just my take on it, guys. Uh, oh, what's this? Kitty Jelly. Kitty Jelly Pizza. Uh, what the fuck is this shit? Isn't it pizza like some kind of fucking claimed fucking out there rabbit hole code word for freaking child lovers? And look at this. Like, what's that avatar? Like a little baby kid? Kitty Jelly, what the fuck is this shit? Who the fuck is in control here? What the fuck is going on? Kitty Jelly Pizza.
<laughs> Can we zoom in? Does that let me zoom in? Does that let me zoom in? But the, that avatar is like a little black girl. I think it's like a CGI. What the fuck is this? Kara Foster is armed BLM Antifa white ally who was shot. Blah, blah. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. They just don't stop, dude. JJ McNabb. Oh my god. Double J, double initial code. Jesus Christ. A research fellow at George Washington University program on extremism. Foster identified with the anti-government boogaloo movement. What? That's a link. That is a fucking link. Anti-government boogaloo movement. I can't click it because it'll take us all over the place. Uh, what the fuck is this shit? Oh. You guys, I'm, you guys still with me? I'm, uh, wow. Patricia Curvin, Mitchell's mother... Oh, he jumped in front of Whitney, and the guy rolled down the window and shot him. So he was, he would have shot Whitney. He was so fucking blinded by white rage. <laughs> oh, my God. Instead of just throwing the fucking wheelchair out of the goddamn way, he jumps in front. Or how about instead of fucking pulling it backwards and running away with a wheelchair and a woman in it, he jumps in front of her. Oh. <sighs> Wow. I mean, guys, there's just so much crap on this, and I'm going to run out of fucking storage space again. Look at Danny Davis, double D, double initial codes. And, you know, because he's black, though, he can't be a part of it. Okay, that's what they want everybody to think. They want everyone to think that, you know, if there's a black talking head, that they are on the benevolent side. No, these fuckers are all in it together, and they don't care about your skin color. They don't care about any skin color. They know that the 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 melanin shit, you know, the color of your skin doesn't make a difference. They all work for the same people that want to strangle the life out of your fucking neck. Participants raising their fists. Oh, my God. Oh, Meebs, that's a funny, funny sounding name, of course, uh, of course, some regular guy, some regular guy gained all this international internet web support, okay, Meebs, 3 3 double E code, uh, no, we're not clicking you, fuck you. Dan Davis, DD Code, all these people have so much money, so are so connected throughout the whole world. Look at this bullshit. Black Lives Matter. Black man, what do you think? White man, what do you do? what do you think? Brown man, what do you think? Black Lives Matter, of course. Every everything that is alive fucking matters. This is just a part of their racist fucking Bullshit. Racism. 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 Austin Chronicle made into a fucking newspaper. One regular guy touches the whole world. They're putting up their hands. These are probably all real people. <coughs> putting up their hands. Oh, hallelujah. Please forgive us, God. Black God. Uh, with your, your big black dick and evil black anger towards us. Poor, innocent honkies. Please don't smite us with your black anger. Red, freaking <clears throat> take us down to hell. Oh. Fuck, dude. And a GoFundMe set up at 108. Code for 18, probably. I don't know. Oh, wow. I've said this already. Oh, my God. This was a long one. Did you guys see all the fucking codes in this shit, all right? Do you guys get that one regular piece of shit, and this guy is a piece of shit, one regular piece of shit is not going to impact the entire fucking internet like this, the entire fucking world. It's the same shit with this George Floyd, Trayvon Martin, there's your Mar code, 
all these things have codes and you need to stop being a fucking spectator to the world and you gotta at least start identifying this shit so that you can make your own decisions. This is all bullshit. It's all a lie. It's fucked. Fuck these pieces of shit. This bastard's still alive. Mark my words. He's gonna wind up with a different freaking character later on. Fuck you. Uh, thanks for listening to me uh, cuss and everything else. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks for sticking with me on this. I expected this to be like five minutes. All right. See if I have any storage space left to uh, put this together. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Chris with the Age of Reason telling you all to keep all. <laughs> this is Chris with the Age of Reason telling you all to keep both eyes, all three eyes opened at all times and pay attention. This world is fucked. It's stupid. And you are a piece of shit racist. And fuck you. I gotta go. I worked all night. I am exhausted. Bye. Chris with the Age of Reason telling you all to keep all... <laughs>